Debar walks up. Lieber goes in. They load into Bar now. Here's Ajib coming up. Devine goes in at almost the same time. Sholan waiting his turn. Rod of Vitesse goes in. Sholan waiting his turn. Old Duck Scholar about to come up into the gate. And there's Kanaf being loaded. B52 goes in. Distance drop for him. Back from 1,400 metres. The mare has been the international favourite, Devine, on the back of her second behind it, Jill. Now, Shawnee's gone up into the line. His jungle cat about to come forward. Jungle cat making his first appearance since last year's Royal Ascot. Oh, Sholan high in the air. Up very high. Chris Hayes out of the saddle. Stores handlers diving in to try and get him under control. And B-52 got into trouble and out the front. Sholan has broken out. Sholan is out. He's not going too quickly. But he is heading down the outside rail. A couple of the outriders appearing from the course proper. I'll try and head him off. So here he comes. He's not frantic by any stretch of the imagination. Two of the outriders, Larry Coleman and Justin Henson, I think they are, are putting themselves in position to catch. Would he allow himself to be caught? I think he wants to be caught, Sholan. He's pulled up. And he's caught. Or he was. He changed his mind at the very last moment. And now he's going a bit quicker, heading back towards the stores. And he's caught. Oh, well, he got away again. Just pulled away again at the last moment. Now, the news is, once he's caught, he is a withdrawal. This time I think they've got him. Yeah, again, he tried to pull away, but not with as much force. And he's been caught. But now he'll have to leave the track. He has been withdrawn, Sholan. It didn't take long. He got his neck caught under the front of the stalls. The vet stationed at the start saw that almost immediately ruled him unfit to start. Now he'll be escorted back down to the starting gate. And then behind the stalls and out of harm's way, that's the quickest way to get him out of harm's way so we can get the race underway. Meanwhile, I suspect the loading operation just about being completed. There might be one or two out behind the stalls down at the end of the long shoot. At least two of them waiting to be loaded. Sholan continues to make his way down that outside fence. He's almost back at the gates. B-52 and Jungle Cat are the pair out of the line. Waiting for Sholan to come back behind the stools. He's about to arrive. He'll be taken in charge by one of the gatemen. Held at the back and kept out of harm's way. Chris Hayes appears to be quite okay. 
We might be just about ready to run. We are. The gates crash back. Divine came out quickly. Jungle Cat began well and B-52 fast away. Lieber going towards the inside rail as they appear to split. Shawnee coming down the centre of the track, leading Kanaf, Rodevates and Duck Scholar. Jungle Cat's in the middle group in front of the Italian horse Winkle Man. Ajib, James, you're not far away. Into bars behind that group, down the inside rail, and Lieber leads from Alan Emirati, Fit Yarn, Divine. Then came Ashad, and B52 is at the rear of that group as they're about to link with the course proper, and they begin to bunch with 500 metres left to go. Lieber on the far side in front of Alan Emirati, Jungle Cat powering down the centre, followed by Fit Yarn. Ashad's on the far side. It's Jungle Cat and Divine now going through to to tackle Lieber. Jungle Cat in the centre, Divine on the inside. They grab the lead from Lieber, but Jungle Cat's beginning to assert, passing the 100 metres mark. Jungle Cat is getting away. His two years old forms back, and Jungle Cat wins. Jungle Cat first, Ashad second, Photo third, Divine, Fit Yarn, and Jamesy. Then Lieber, Rod of a test, Shawnee, Kanaf, B52. Followed then by Alan Emirati, then Winkle Man in front of Ajib and Duck Scholar came in last of all. Sholan, the late withdrawal. Well, that's the horse who ran second, beaten a nose in the gym crack by the eventual winner of the Commonwealth Cup, Jungle Cat, down the centre of the track, producing his best form. And he has won, and won impressively, in the end, written by William Buick. We wait for the numbers to go up. And a time to appear on the board. And a very clear-cut winner in the end, Jungle Cat, having his first run since that unplaced effort with excuses in the Commonwealth Cup at last year's Royal Ascot meeting.